As you likely know, Windows 10 supports having a profile picture. This picture will appear at the login screen, the start menu, and various other places in Windows. If you don't want to have a profile picture at all, you will need to replace it with something else, such as the default profile icon. Once you replace the photo, you can delete your old profile photos. This video is going to deal with the default profile image, or the default account image, the local user account image, and the Microsoft image. Plus, I'll show you how to delete old images and reset things along the way. Let's start off with the default account image. Why would you need to know where this is? Well, if you're a system administrator like myself, I often create customized images where I would use the company's logo as their default image. When you click on Start on any new account, you'll see this generic icon for all new users. If you want to change that, open up a file explorer on your computer, go into the C drive, and you'll need to know this path because it's a hidden system folder which even with system files shown, it still doesn't show up. So the actual folder is in program data slash Microsoft slash user account pictures. Here you'll see all the default images that's used by Microsoft when you create a new, a new account. So if you want to create your own, look at these pictures or you can import them into your favorite graphical editor such as Adobe Photoshop. Or if you want to start from scratch, create a picture that's 448 pixels by 448 pixels. Use the default gray, which is what I've got mine set to, which is 230 value for red, green, and blue, which is the default Windows system color. Once you've got that set, draw a perfect circle that touches all four sides, and that's where you get this round circle that you see when you click on Start and also when you go into the profile image. Create your logo or whatever you need within, within that circle, and then you can certainly save the image into the five different sizes that Windows 10 actually needs. So it needs one that is 444 by 444, which is a BMP, and also it needs one the same size for PNG. Then it needs a 32 by 32, a 40 by 40, and a 200 by 200. And replace the, the relevant files within this folder, and then when you create a new account in your system, you'll have your own default logo instead of the one that Windows 10 gives you. But just a word of caution again with everything else, don't just delete the current files that you see here. Back them up so that you have them just in case something goes wrong. Okay, let's deal with the, the local user account image. Click on Start account, change account settings, and here you'll see we have the default image. If you want to sh change your picture, click on browse for one at the bottom, and here you have the option to choose different pictures that you may want on, from your computer. Browse into your pictures folder, and I have a couple of pictures here, so as soon as I choose one, it'll change it to that. We'll change it again a second time. And just once more, because I want to uh, demonstrate something to you. On some computers, what you'll see is to the immediate right of this, there'll be two more images here for the last two times that you changed your image. This doesn't work on all computers. I have two computers that have all the same updates. And on one, I get the three images there. And on the next one, I don't get the three images. And the only thing I can determine is that if at some point your account has been a Microsoft account, in other words, you sign in with an email address, and then you switched it back to a local account, it actually creates that option where you can choose between the three. But you can do your own testing to see if that's really the case. But anyway, on many computers, what I've run into is that when they do have those images to the right, people don't know how to get rid of them. So how do you find them? Let's close this down and let's go back into our file explorer onto the C drive. Now here's a thing that we have to do. If you go into the users folder, public, change the view here. And under view, we'll show hidden files, hidden files, folders and drives. So you can see there's a public account pictures folder here. And if you expand this box, you see these numbers here are associated with the two users that I have on this computer. However, when we go into these folders, there is absolutely nothing there. So what you have to do is click on View, go back into your options, View, scroll down a little bit, and uncheck this box that said Hide Protected Operating System Files. Click on Yes, OK, 
Now, if we go into these folders, you'll see that's the last picture that I chose for my desktop. And this other one is my other user on this computer. There's their pictures. So if you're having a problem, this is where the pictures are actually stored. On some, we run into a problem where the actual pictures become corrupt. And Microsoft, in its infinite wisdom, has put them in, in the user's folder. So you go into your actual username, go into app data, roaming, Microsoft, Windows, and account pictures. And you'll see the last three that you've used are in this folder. Now, again, please keep in mind, on some computers, there will be no pictures in this folder. But don't panic, because that's what the previous folder was about. So we'll delete these. And then all of those pictures from the beginning will be gone, except for the one that I currently have set as the default. So as you can see, there's the default image. And the other two images are gone from the right-hand side. So if you're having any problems, that's what you will do to delete the pictures and reset it. Now, if you want to put this back to your default system image, there we would browse back onto the C drive. We'll go into Program Data. Microsoft and user account. User account pictures. There we go. Now we have it set to the default. Now, the last thing I want to show you is what happens when you have a Microsoft account image. If you click on Start, go into your user account, change account settings. You can see my account right now is just a local administrator account. What I want to do is switch this to a Microsoft account instead. OK, now this is what it will look like if you've actually got a Microsoft account set up. Right underneath your name here, you'll see the actual email address that you're signing in with. And what you can do from this screen, if you want to change your Microsoft account image, you click on Manage My Microsoft Account. It loads up your default web browser and will take you to Microsoft to sign in. Sign into your account. OK, once you're signed in, this is where you can change your pictures on your actual account if you have one set up. So as you can see at the top here, we have an account image that should now replicate to my local account on the computer. And if you want to change it, this is the screen where you change it from. You click on your actual picture here. And right from this screen, you can resize it. You can go new picture and choose something else from your computer or wherever you might have an image. And if you want to remove this picture to set a different default, you can certainly just click on Remove on the right-hand side. And it will prompt you if you're sure that you want to remove that picture. So once we've got that all changed, that's how you get rid of your online picture. So when you come back into your computer the next time you sign on, it'll actually grab the account picture that you're signing in with. But just bear in mind, that because you're using a Microsoft account, you must not forget your password that you're using at Microsoft. Otherwise, you won't be able to log back into your local account. And if you want to change it, you can simply from this screen just say sign in with the local account instead. Click on Next. We have to type our password in there. Then it signs us out, and we'll be back to our original local admin account. Personally speaking, I do not particularly like the Microsoft-based accounts, even though you can keep a lot of your stuff online. But if something goes wrong, suddenly you're left in the lurch, and you, can, and you have no way to get back into your own account. So on all my computers, yeah, all of mine are local admin accounts. I don't use an actual Microsoft account for that particular reason. If you found this video to be of use, please do take a moment just to give us a thumbs up at the bottom. And until next time, take care and have yourselves a fantastic day.